Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to BSL Season 16, Round of 32, Group A. This is the other side of the bracket. I'm going to have to hop around a little bit because I had that one game from Group B. We did have uh, Oshball versus Stunter on the other side of the bracket. Upper left-hand corner, we have DM Wizard, which I think is an AKA. Because DM, uh, Disturbing Minds, or Disturbed Minds, I'm very, or Disturbed Mind, there I said it properly, I'm familiar with, but I'm not sure which player this is as far as the AKA. Blue Zerg. Upper right-hand corner, we have So as the pink turn. Not familiar with either of these guys. This is once again going to be on Power Bond, which has a really nice mini-map. It's going to take me a while before I have a backlog of games in order to do the daily uploads for YouTube. Also in the background, what's up, I lurk your stream. Good to see you. Um, so eventually I will get back to the daily releases, but for the moment, it's going to take a minute. As of tonight, I'm not sure how many games I'm going to be able to cast in the background. I'm also cooking some turkey soup from some leftovers, froze some leftovers from Christmas, made a Christmas turkey. I love turkey. I make a great turkey. If you need turkey cooking tips, let me know because I've got amazing brine, etc. tips for you. But also I've got to fix a toilet because I had my child flush toys down the toilet as just learned how to do that, which means... Got to replace the uh, O-ring. So point being, I've got other things to do tonight, so I'm not sure how many games I'm going to be able to cast, which means I'm not sure how many games are going to be available uh, on the string, but eventually I will end up with a backlog. That seems to be the way things go, and we'll be able to get back in the swing of everything. Looks like we are seeing a, I assume, a hatchery opener here, because we've got the Overlord first, no pool. There's the hatchery. Just missed it a half second. It looks like so. He's going to get the initial scout towards his opponent. He's opened up with a Rax opener, has not plopped down that gas as of yet, and is moving an SCV out rather early with the second SCV to maybe go, well, no, he just really wants that scout. Maybe he wants to absolutely have information to start as to whether he can go for that quick command center or not, or possibly is maybe thinking of getting aggressive with this. Looks like that SCV is spotting that hatchery, is still going in division, however. This SCV is gonna return to that actual expansion, I assume. An initial Marine is being constructed also have that supply depot along that rear, so it looks like this is going to be one racks into command center. Yeah, SCV along that edge. Gas taken a little bit, uh, not super late, but see it mining spawning pool up. I'm trying to think what the timing of the extractor is off the top of my head. One day I will remember that right off the top of my head, but today is not that day. Spawning pool being constructed, I think it's like 28 seconds, something along there. But I, that seems like too many. Whatever. Spawning pool finished. Two Zerglings being constructed. More, no additional larva saved. So Wizard going for just heavy larva. Transferring this larva to the natural expansion. This drone finally getting that scout towards the natural. However, spotting those marines and the command center is just going to back out otherwise. An overlord is going to redirect that direction. This overlord is going to make its way bottom right. Second racks being dropped and a refinery being tacked on. And something that shifted in the meta in the offseason is rather than the three racks or even four racks style of play, two racks play, especially because there's been tutorials out on it from uh, Light giving information to Barracks and also some adjustments on Valkyrie play have become very, very popular. So playing out of the two racks initially, particularly two racks Academy, has become more the default standard for Terran again all of a sudden. And with some flexibility out of that. Zerg have been responding with getting earlier Zergling speed layer and oftentimes going for a 2.5 hatch, which would usually be an in-base. Not sure what to call it because that's meant a lot of different things over time, but basically an in-base third hatchery rather than going for a hatchery at the near expansion. This overlord a little bit exposed, but going to cycle its way out. So now with that natural expansion up, has actually got a pretty decent worker count and a bit of a worker lead. It looks like the Zerglings making the way back. They want to try to take care of that SCV before speed comes online with that SCV being escorted out. Spire morphing. We do have that second gas being plopped down, which suggests we are going to see a little bit more tech-heavy mid-game. Initial medic, or sorry, initial marines making the way out. Medics are going to, no, no medics whatsoever. Just the marines going to push out to go ahead and deal with those initial Zerglings. Two of them taken out a little bit off timing. Double creep colony is being dropped. And let's see if there are medics to follow up. Stim being researched before the medics, and it looks like it is going to be a fire bat and a medic, so this could very likely be a heavy push to the front door. Wizard needs that overlord towards that forward position to see those troops as they're making that direction. The creep colonies are not morphing yet. Second gas is, in fact, up. 
spire about two thirds finished. So with that fire bat in tow and the medic, especially if we, if we wait for one additional medic, I'm expecting a little bit of a heavier push with reinforcements. So more of a, a big dive, the overlord is forward to go ahead and see that. That was great placement from that overlord from wizard to see those troops moving out. So those should morph immediately. The timing of it, let's see, there is gonna be plenty of mutilisk. Actually, the mutilisk need to be, oh, there's a supply gap right this second. Waiting on that overlord. The, oh, where is it? I'm not, yeah, having to cancel and that's gonna force a third creep colony. Oh, that's disastrous for wizard right there. Missing the overlord, so not gonna have, so he's gonna be able to get that third hatchery, but really wanted to produce mutilisks right there. Upon forcing the third Sutton colony, it looks like So is going to back up, but So not committing, and So didn't even check. And so, actually, I feel like saying So So a lot here. Wizard optimizing that build by canceling that creep colony. Four racks now being placed, so it is going to be a heavier marine engagement in the mid game, which should provide a good amount of map control, especially as range comes online. I do, the engineering bay has not started weapons one as of yet, but pretty sizable supply lead and economic lead here for so. And these mutilisks with that supply block coming out so much later, I don't know that there's gonna be much of an opportunity for wizard to really inflict a lot of economic damage. So if so recognizing that, uh, recognizes this, particularly this fire bat out, he can apply pressure out on the map. Take some positioning either towards that natural expansion for, uh, or at least more staggered forward. The more barracks you have, the more map control that allots you because even if you end up getting swept with all your medic marines out in the field, you can replenish them rather rapidly. But it will be a challenge as to where the third base is. So opting to instead wait, it looks like, rather than moving out, gonna establish that turret line all over the place, really going to make sure he's defended in, is working on that plus one weapons as that factory constructing. But pretty well saturated, 10 worker lead. I do worry, so despite Wizard making that miscue early and not really having that Mutalisk threat out, now the Mutalisk is starting to make their way out. Is there a plus one weapons behind this? There is gonna be plus one weapons as well. So just gonna wait for that plus one weapons to engage. But so really hasn't forced any counter attack as well which hasn't really forced any larva consumption. So wizard could hit a couple larva cycles here. Looks like wizard now moving up with that mutilisk attack force. Not the best micro, maybe a bit of lag in this. Is able to get it on that third hit. A lot of damage right there. Plus one weapons will finish in just a moment. And this is a pretty sizable ball to start threatening. And I do, particularly with lurker tech being somewhat late, so you're not gonna have that egg to protect. I am worried about that potential troop movements here to the bottom left. I don't know that that's super defensible. It's such a huge map though that I don't know that So wants to overextend that far. And a single, actually it looks like it's gonna be double creep colony that should be sufficient to go ahead and defend that bottom left hand corner simply because of the size of this map. More medic marines streaming out. Single starport being built. I'm looking for that second starport shortly. And it shouldn't be, this isn't too bad as far as the timing but this plus one weapons just feels very very late in comparison so both players not as sharp as they could be overall right now so with about a 20 supply lead starting to move out take some map control is in a position to potentially threaten this natural expansion third gas is up and running for wizard but he's been behind economically for large portions of this map is certainly behind in supply right here and uh, as far as being able to establish and hold that third gas I do have concerns in that regard, particularly because uh, an eraser trick could clear this out fairly quick. Things like that. And so going for it. Comps adding the front, seeing the lack of mutilisks at the front. The mutilisks now making their way back to position. All the creep colonies are down. One still morphing. That's going to get wiped out rather rapidly. But keep in mind, these medic marines do not have plus one weapons. So these mutilisks with plus one weapons are still going to be uh, fierce. But there's so many marines, they're just able to obliterate those mutilisks for us. As without any additional support, they're having to engage heads up. Zerglings being spawned. So Wizard getting busted. It looks like he had even had to cancel Lurker Tech right there. So losing his natural expansion. So with the instinct bust. Great play. Killer instincts right there. I like to see that. Seeing that he, the Mutalisks were out of position. That shows some strength from So right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we are going to move to, I guess we'll move to the winner's matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.